Welcome or welcome back to my channel for this week's Human Design Transit Report. And today is Monday, July 17th. And the new transit starts on Wednesday, July 19th. If you want to find out about what's happening today and tomorrow, then go ahead and watch last week's transit report here. Otherwise, stay tuned as we dive into the new transit that starts on Wednesday. So on Wednesday, the sun is going to move into the gate 56 and the earth is going to move into the gate 60. When the earth moves into the gate 60, it's going to join Pluto there. So you can see from the chart here that the 360 is all lit up. Now it has been lit up for a number of transits. If you've been following the reports, you'll have heard me talk about this already. The north node is lighting up the three and um, Pluto has been lighting up the 60. And now the earth is joining Pluto there. And so we've got a double highlight on the 60, if you will. So let's talk about this whole channel for a second. So this channel is in the knowing circuit. It is where the energies that have run through the chart, put through the two sides of the body start to come together at the root. Okay. And then it's, it's going to send energy up the central channel. The 60 is known as acceptance in traditional human design and a conservation in quantum human design. It's this place where there's discerning about what of the evolutionary mutative leading edge out of the box energies that are coming in through that knowing circuit and then wanting to come up through that central channel, which of these are useful, right? What are we going to keep and move forward? Then the three and the I Ching is known as difficulty at the beginning, but it's also innovation. So the idea here is, is that these energies are coming in. There is a, an acceptance or not of those energies. There's a conservation of what is useful and and bringing that forward up into the three where it can be innovative, right? We can move innovative energy up through the rest of uh, this knowing circuit because we want that for where it's going to go up here. It has to do with purpose and contribution, and we want all of that to be uh, really clear and on point. So the 60 is there to help us really kind of be, okay, what's of use, what's not of use? And at this point, we want to be grounding ourselves in those questions as well. Pluto is a little bit like, hey, you know, is this is this something that you're going to carry forward? Is it actually evolutionary enough? Um, but also, is it beneficial, right? Because we want to sort through, it's not all mutations, not all innovations are actually beneficial, you know, eight track tapes. I don't think they had a very long short life, uh, you know, sh uh, shelf life. <laughs> Do tapes have shelf lives? Anyway, you know what I'm talking about, right? So we want innovations that are actually going to be something that support us. We're not talking about kitchen gadgets that somebody is going to make money on that are just going to end up in the landfill, right? We want genuine mutations that are really going to be helping us as we're moving forward here on planet Earth, looking at the challenges that we have. Like, so for example, we would really want mutative, uh, leading edge, out of the box ideas about green energy, right? About green energy, about um, ecosystem restoration, about how we communicate and collaborate uh, as human beings from really different backgrounds uh, who have different um, ways of seeing the world, but we want to be able to innovate so that we can actually come together in uh, us creating this new world where we can heal our planet and, and we can learn to get along because I think it's pretty a high priority <laughs> at this point. But what I want to underscore for you is for you to be really honoring the kinds of downloads, the kind of insights, the understandings that you're getting through that knowing circuit. Because this is divine inspiration. This is divine guidance. This is how spirit is speaking to us and how it's speaking to you. And I know I hear from a lot of you that you're like, yeah, but did I just make that up? Can I trust it? Does it mean anything? Is it valuable? Because a lot of times the stuff that you get through that knowing circuit, it's, it's not something you're just going to pick up in a book and read, right? It's not that kind of information. It's usually pretty kind of big and different. Um, I don't know about you. I think that's kind of what we need right now. 
<laughs> it's things that are big and new and different to help lead us into the future that we really want for ourselves and for our kids and our grandkids and future generations. So grounding ourselves in what is useful uh, and what do we want to innovate with and what of the downloads that we have and the insights that we have are we going to actually work with. That As we ground ourselves into that, we can access the energy of the gate 56. So the sun lighting up the gate 56 is highlighting storytelling energies. The 56 is one of the um, powerful storytelling gates in the human design chart. There are three. They are all in the sensing circuit, which is creative, right-brained, expansive, experiential, embodied energy. Okay, it's not logical, it's not rational, n none, neither of these energies are. And so we really want to be able to tap into our own ability through our intu intuition and our creativity to tap into the spiritual information that is wanting to come through us and to be able to express that in a storytelling format. This is a, it's, it's a teaching energy. It's about how we tell stories in order to elevate all of us to give us new perspectives to help break apart limiting beliefs and ways that we've been inhibiting ourselves ways we've been shoving ourselves into boxes that don't fit. You know, that's like the mantra of Western culture, right, is conform and consume, conform and consume. That's what it is in our current day, right? It's like you could practically can't turn around with somebody without something to buy. You know what I mean? And so we want to be able to break that trance so that we can make smart decisions about what it is that we do want to buy. For example, what do we want to engage in? What do we want to put our resources into? Uh, and that includes our ability to tell stories about things. So you're going to have an opportunity during this transit to really be looking at, wow, what, what, what big stories am I telling myself? Because this is collective circuitry, so it's kind of like big stories, right? Stories about the collective. What big stories am I believing right now? What big stories would be beneficial for me? What kind of possibilities and potentials could I give some of my creative energy to? so that they could start to blossom and grow in non-physical first, but ultimately in your life as well. So we create everything as energy first before we create it in physical reality. So this is an opportunity for you to be telling stories about what the world is that how you want it to be. How do you want the collective to go? And let's face it, you know, there's a lot of really dystopian and pretty, you know, apocalyptic stories out there. I mean, so much so that a good portion of the population thinks that we need to have superheroes who are going to come and save us. Right? I mean, why do you think you, we get the popularity of all of those movies? Because there's some way that we want agency to be able to create change in our world. But we think we have to be superhuman in order to be able to do it. The thing I want to say is, is that you actually have superpowers that are probably not fully activated and engaged in your life. And they come from these two circuits we've been talking about today, the knowing circuit and the sensing circuit because the knowing circuit is the biggest source of intuition that we have in the human design system. And then the sensing circuit is the biggest source of creativity that we have in the human design system. But all of these energies are not well understood and certainly not valued or validated by common culture. They're generally kind of shunted to the side, like, oh, you're just making that up. Where did you get that? That doesn't mean anything. It doesn't jibe with, you know, these experts that I listen to. So it can't be true. And this kind of mishigas going on in our heads makes us dismiss the downloads that we receive, the insights that we receive as just being, yeah, you know, just something that flitted across my mind rather than going, wow, what is that really telling me? What door is this opening for me? How can I see myself, my community, and our world differently by allowing different perspectives to come in? 
And both the knowing circuit and the sensing circuit do that, and both are highlighted during this particular transit. And this is exactly what we're talking about in the Unleash Yourself Intensive that's going on all week. It actually starts today and goes through the rest of the week, and you can still join us. The uh, You can uh, check out, there's a link here, there's a link down in the description. Uh, this is a week-long intensive. It's my gift to you. And we're really diving into the significance of our intuition and our creativity and using human design as a an ally and a tool and a guide to help us to see how incredibly intuitive and creative we actually are and looking at how do we unleash ourselves from this cultural conditioning that tells us that this isn't really important, right? If you can't count it, if you can't quantify it, and if you can't consume it or sell it, then, you know, does it have any value? So we're, we're breaking up that stuff, right? And then activating really these primary intelligences that we all have, regardless of your design, we all have the whole knowing circuit and the whole sensing circuit in our human design right? What's defined, what's colored in, we're going to be more familiar with, so familiar that we probably take a lot of it for granted, kind of like, doesn't everybody have that? And it's like, no, actually they don't. So looking at your definition is a good place to start because those are kind of what, there's what I call your core energies. And they're core in the sense that you have ongoing, ready, reliable access to those energies and a consistent, sometimes even fixed way of experiencing them. So those are kind of the core that's always here, but everything else in your chart that's white, you've also experienced hundreds, thousands of times throughout the course of your life, depending on who you've been around. And I know I've developed a lot of familiarity and a lot of expertise and a lot of wisdom in the parts of my chart that are open, that are white. And so don't discount that for a minute. If you're like, I don't have that in my chart, you do have it in your chart. You just don't have it colored in. You just don't have it defined. Doesn't mean that you don't have a relationship with it. And it doesn't mean that it's an energy that isn't available to you. So we're going to be digging into all of this more over the course of the week. We're going to look at what's really at stake. What are really the costs to us of being so conditioned into left brain dominance that makes it really hard, for example, for us to even feel that 360, right? It's hard for us to even feel that if we're too like focused on that left brain, you know, that only wants to look at data and information in a certain kind of a way, then the way that the 360 is looking at information and data and working with um, the spiritual information, it can feel kind of really far away, right? So what we want to do is break up that left brain dominance so that we can have all of our faculties available to us, right? So we're going to look at that real cost. Then we're going to be talking about and doing some exercises and playing around with um, really activating our intuition and our creativity. Uh, and we'll be doing some life coaching and looking at how you can take this forward into your life. And if you've heard me talk about my Embody Your Human Design program, which is starting in August, uh, I will be sharing with you more about that. And this is kind of a, like a way to get a taste of what that longer program is going to be like. So if you're curious about that, please do make sure and come and um, check out the intensive. All right. So enjoy that 6056. Look at the stories that you're telling. Look at the ways that you can tell stories that are more empowering for the collective and how you can be receiving insights about that through that 360 and to know what it is that would really be best to share. Okay, many blessings. Much love. Bye for now.